We're ready. Almost. Sorry. Oh, look, Max is watching on the table. Uh, I'm Coley Bickford-Smith and I'm a cover designer at Penguin Books. I've worked at Penguin, I think this is my 14th year this year. And now I've written my own book. <laughs> I have worked on numerous series at Penguin. Um, the Penguin English Library, which was 100 books. I've rejected the Sherlock Holmes and I've worked on Great Food. I've done the Gothic Horrors, the F. Scott Fitzgeralds, which are all about pattern. Um, much of my work is, it seems to be about pattern and I think the new book has got quite a lot of pattern integrated into it. I've just finished these um, pocket hardbacks, non-fiction, which was really exciting to work on. Um, and obviously the cloth bounds. So, now, I've been given the chance to actually produce um, not just the cover this time, but produce a whole book about a, around a story that I've written myself. So I can make the book that I've always wanted to make. It's inspired by all those classic Victorian illustrators like Audrey Beardsley, um, and big inspiration is William Blake. It's just to tell a simple story through words and pictures and get to put a whole book together. It's a story about a fox. He's, he's quite small and he's in this big, gigantic forest and he has one friend, which is Star. And Star lights the paths for him at night so that he, you know, he feels safe and they play together. And then one day Star's disappeared and he's just gone. So the story is about Fox having to face his fears and live with the uncertainty and the unknown and it's a story that deals with love and loss and need and dependency and it's quite, I find it quite emotional. The story had always been there and by the end of the six months I had to create it I felt quite sad and a bit lost coming back into the real world because every day I just got to go and hang out with Fox. Once there was a fox who lived in a deep, dense forest. 